Hello, uh, I'm Ryan Geiger, and this is my art. And for my process, I like to include like mass media imagery with uh, natural elements in a way to like blend the uh, a divine created existence with a man-made existence. Um, so my main characters are birds, and I very much identify with the birds. And I only paint birds that exist within my own yard. And I, I began to study their behaviors, and and when I did so, I began to realize that like all the petty you know behaviors that they exhibited also were manifested themselves in mankind as well so they uh, they became a way for me to express how like like the human condition and and so for me the birds are just metaphors for for mankind and, and actually for myself so I'm able to tell my story through the birds um, in these paintings over here um, I, I had this idea of uh, of a continuing image, and I, I read about um, a, a scientist, and actually an astrologer, who um, his name was Mobius, and he came up with a theory that that in space that time would sometimes loop and repeat itself, and so I. I, I like to think of the idea of history repeating and so what I've done here with these paintings is I've uh, I've made an image where where each of these panels can be trend can be switched and the image can keep going or even on a computer sometimes I'll take them and I'll just repeat them over and over again and they can just go off into eternity um, so that's basically my process and and so I've been able to tell my story through these birds and it's it's my allegory and, it, and it's ever-changing and it, it, it's always like like transformed by my experience and 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 creating this like garden that I've made like allows me to like kind of categorize my life experience it's a very big window in my studio and all these birds would come up to it and there's a little landing there and for some reason they were never afraid of me and, they, and I could get closer than you and I are now and they instead of flying away or being frightened they would they would they would bitch at me or, or tap on the window and and so I started like really looking at them very hard and, and that's kind of how it began and that's why I only paint the birds that come to my studio window and also the, the reason why um, I choose them is because I myself, you know, come from, you know, a very common background, and these are very, very common birds. Like, for instance, this is like a European starling, and it, it first came to America in, like, 1902, and two Englishmen decided that they liked the way that they sang, and so they released 100 birds in Central Park, and now they're the single most popular bird in America. Sometimes you can see flocks of over a million of these birds flying, and it looks like a giant black cloud. It's almost, it almost looks like a plague, but it seems like a very, very appropriate metaphor for, uh, for the immigration of Europeans to America and how we took over that land. And so with these, when these birds were released, it, it, no one actually knows what kind of species they displaced. And so there, again, is that same reference to that metaphor. Also, like a, a lot of these birds, I, 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 when I began painting these birds, I, I really thought about like how they were sim what they were symbols for in our culture. And a lot of people think of birds as very free because they can fly, and and just having a bird is a symbol for freedom. But it's very ironic because in spite of that perceived freedom they're actually they actually spend their entire time struggling to survive and i very much identify with that